Maru in Korean means it's a central gathering area in a traditional Korean home where people come together and share information. So I think the Maru is supposed to be a place where people, international people and Malawian people can come together and learn about the lake. The two goals of the research center are, you could say, the social and economic. For the underwater fish surveys, we do what are called line transect surveys. The idea there is to try to get a rough understanding over a year, over several years of the population dynamics and the biodiversity and the abundance of fish. five minutes we're going to go down and do what's called population biodiversity surveys we're trying to keep track of the cichlid populations underneath the water here in Kankar. We have permanent transects that we go to every two weeks that are 50 meters long and we swim along them with a underwater slate counting and identifying fish. Research Center is the first permanent research center in the northern half of the lake since the 1950s. The three major areas of research that we do are the underwater surveys, the fisheries surveys at various fishing villages along the lake shore, and then some weather and water quality monitoring. Is the lake being overfished? This is one of the questions that we want to find out. So the most responsible answer to that question is we don't know. And that's precisely why we're doing the research that we're doing. Are we concerned that there is overfishing? Yes. But we don't know that yet. And that's why we want to find out. The name of the village is Masakahunju. The fish is Masakahunju because of the eyes. They have very large fox eyes. Because we're a small organization, we are primarily volunteer run, and we invite volunteers, both international and Malawi, to come and help us out. We weigh the fish, we find out how long the nets are that are being used to catch those fish, we identify what fish are there, and we collect a few other economic indicators and geographical indicators. So we ask the fishermen where they come from, how long they're gonna be staying for, how much they're selling the fish for. The lake is on many levels special. It's the most biologically diverse in the world by far. There's over a thousand species of fish out there. Ultimately, this lake is in the hands of Malawians and the resource users that are here. We need to not only bring them into the process of learning about the lake, but we need to ultimately leave that process in their hands.